hello and welcome to this very gentle energy reading for the month of January because let's see what day it is, it's the 16th of January so I'm literally like um very late um this is definitely the energy of January I haven't looked at anything I haven't looked at the astrology I do know there is a full moon in Leo I think it's the 25th because I'm a Leo but I haven't literally looked at anything else. So I'm going to go in blind. I thought, do you know what? This is this is the thing. Perfectionism has been coming up a lot with my clients. And I thought, right, okay. Do you just not do a video? Or do you just show up and see what comes through? And I thought, I'm just going to show up and see what comes through. <laughs> so bear with me. This is the energy of January. January, we are still in our inner winter. We are still meant to be going nice and slow. Please, please, please. Do not be starting any massive diet programs or fitness programs. Go nice and slowly. Yes, do your wee bit. Yes, start to think about it. Yeah, yeah. But still, please put forward your rest. When I looked at January, it was one word. It was just so self-care. It was literally like creating, crafting, I'm hearing, and um, mastering a daily sacred practice to connect deeply with you. So I'm going to keep it really, really simple. And I have some cards here. I put my glasses on so I can see. I have some cards around me. And I'm literally just going to pick one card from each deck. Okay. Now I have seven decks and this is a number eight year. So I will pick and I'll get another deck because it has to be eight I'm hearing. So let's see what other, um, what other oracle. We'll go for this one. Um, wants to come through. So... This is one that I avoid because I'm not quite sure how to read it. And I really couldn't be bothered reading books. So I like to intuitively um, connect. So we'll pop that one up here. Okay, so let's take a wee minute. I'm going to um, bring in the energy of this lovely oil. Okay, so you can energetically connect with this oil blend. It's called Adaptive. And it's all about um, calming the nervous system. So I feel like everybody needs a little bit of that now. So... I'm just going to energy energetically, if you're open to receive and say yes in your heart. I'm just going to energetically send that out to everybody now. And I want you to just close your eyes for a second and just visualize it like this blue ray. Just blue for calmness, for the sea, for the sky. But I'm also seeing this beautiful cloak, this blue cloak of Mary Magdalene. Or not Mary Magdalene, Mother Mary. And I'm seeing a blue rose, actually. This blue rose is just wrapping around us. And what I'm hearing is many of us are letting go of old petals. So we're still in that in-between where the old is falling away um, to make room for the new. We're just not quite in the new yet from a physical point of view, a manifesting point of view. But it's coming. So just hang in there, okay? And just allow yourself to rest, particularly up until this full moon, which is the 25th which is next next weekend Phil Min and Leo feels quite big um it's a fiery one and that is leading into an um, imbolc and imbolc is on the first second of February and that is connected to the beautiful goddess um, Bridget which is a return to wholeness so she holds the sacred flame so she's bringing a fire energy in and that is why many of us we are not feeling that motivation and you know um in january to do very much but you might be thinking about it and that's okay so let's release in this full moon uh whatever's not serving you and start to think about intentions for the year if you haven't done that already and let's connect with the fire energy and the fire spirit um of in bulk and bridget as she um and i'm going to do another video on that I might do an activation i'll see um but i feel like i'm coming out of my cave now okay <laughs> <laughs> and it's just important to honour you. All right, so apologies, I'm gonna make one in now. Better late than never. So let's just pick one from this deck. So what guide is working with us, please, as a collective? January, as we close out January 2024. Of course two comes out. <laughs> so we have the beautiful goddess, Quinion. Okay, so to see the colours. Quinion, the goddess of care and compassion. She's been asked to go very, very gently. Um, I'm seeing many of us have just been drawn to the lotus flower. Many of us are coming out of this mud, like the, the lotus flower is like born from mud. Um, and then it just blossoms. So that's what I'm seeing, okay? Um, choose to be love. 
do what is right for everyone involved and offer a helping hand. I've had to do that in my life recently and just see everything from this higher perspective. Nobody means to hurt us. Nobody means to, you know, do what they do. If it doesn't feel good, um, you're in charge of you and the boundaries you put in place and seeing things from this higher perspective and understanding all sides, connecting with your feminine, your masculine and making a decision from there what's right for you and ultimately for everybody else okay but if it's right for you um that's the most important then it will be right for everybody else too and just let it unfold basically so we have sinat kamara also he is the head of the great brotherhood of light um so there's a lot of um light activations a lot of solar flares coming in in january so if you've been having headaches or feeling particularly strange particularly like dizzy you know uh, off balance you know they, there's a lot like i've had to really really rest um and um just really grind and i feel myself oh i feel a bit better and coming out of it now so but some of you may still be in it because you know i'm coming out of it to do this video shine your light your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear i'm just going to look at the card at the bottom so we have the energy here of the Sakena, okay, and that is, um, she's known as the, the female Christ. We have Horus energy also here. I've been putting a lot of third eye activations for people, which is why they're maybe getting sore eyes or behind the eyes or sinuses or um, headaches, okay, as we're starting to see the truth of things around us. And it's important that we um, feel them and act upon them and do what's right in your heart, in your gut. Your gut's always right, okay? Unleash your spirit, that's the fire energy coming in. Express, you express your gifts and dance to the sacred rhythm of life, okay? Okie dokie, so I'm feeling a lot of tummy stuff for people also, because that is where your sacral chakra is your fire, okay? Your sacral chakra is the colour orange of fire. It is, I'm just feeling for many, you might be feeling a bit nauseous or a bit icky as this cleanses in the month, and the, especially with the full moon in Leo, um, because obviously it's a fire sign. And um, yeah, your sacral is relationships might be coming up at the minute. Um, career stuff might be coming up at the minute. Even just physical stuff, bowels, adrenals. You've got the hormone gland um, connected to the sacral. The adrenals produces cortisol, which is stress hormone. Hence why we need to calm everything down. And what I would say to you is if stuff comes up in January, okay, if you're seeing the truth of situation, people, things, and you're like, okay, I don't want to look at this, but I know I have to. You don't have to act right now. Allow your nervous system. I, you know, I had to look at this too. I had to, I was shown some stuff in December that I needed to do. I didn't want to look at it. I didn't want to believe it. And then I had to just allow it to just be in my system. And then when I was ready to act and look at it, looked at it, then it wasn't as bad. Okay. It was easier. Still difficult, but easier. Okay. So we have the card here. I'm going to shuffle this. I've just looked at the bottom intuitively. So this is the card of will. All right, there we have the tiger. The cat energy is coming in. You're being asked to be less dog-like and more cat-like. Um, dog-like just means that you're, oh, you know, maybe doing more for others, um, possibly being walked over. If you look at this, um, this image at the back, um, of this woman who's just sort of a bit overwhelmed, just doing everything for everybody else, those times are changing, okay? Um, we're not going to get away with that anymore or your body will feel it, your mind will feel it or you'll be forced to stop. So we've been asked to get on this cat, get on, cat's connected to power, you being in your power. And power's not a bad thing, but power is just, power's connected to love actually. It's not connected to, you know, um, destroying another or manipulating another it's just you knowing who you are doing what is right for you um, and those around you and you know putting boundaries in place daily sacred practice can't bring everything back to you okay and there's the color of the sacral okay so sacral chakra stuff is coming up a lot with this fire energy coming in full moon and then in bulk okay Many of us are moving, okay? We're being asked to move from one stage to the next. Many of us have wanted to stay in that place. It's comfort zone, it's what we know. And Leo is all about stepping out of comfort zone, okay? All about stepping into courage, okay, with the lion. Let's pull one more. Here's me, see, this is why I shouldn't say anything. I'm gonna pull one card from each deck. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> Kundalini. So look at this. This is the energy of the snake. So when you are shedding an old skin, you might physically have itchy skin 
or you might feel, I'm saying like sore lower back because the Kundalini energy moves up through the spine. The, the snake energy is connected to your feminine, your masculine energy. You're a bit depicted as these two snakes that are moving up through the body and um, allowing you to be that um, truest, freest expression of yourself, your authentic self, okay? But if you look at this, this looks, this is at the heart. If you look at the heart, so it's all about heart healing. The heart is the bridge. So many are healing from heartbreak, healing from grief. Um, this is all coming up. You might feel very, very emotional. Um, just let it all come up. Just let it all come up, okay? And that's why we need to just be gentle with ourselves, okay? Okay, so one that we're going to ask for one card from this Monology deck, collectively, January. Love that, the Pisces, the fish. There's a lot of water stuff coming up to balance the fire. Um, balance spirituality and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. There is something about Pisces at the minute. If I find out, I just remember hearing something about Pisces in January. Um, and Pisces is obviously the fish. Fish is connected to abundance, flow, water, emotions. Um, and I'm here and there also balance. It's like that's like the yin yang symbol. So it does say balance there. And that's what I was hearing for many people, which is why I have um, took 33% off the Hormone Balance Chakra course or program or modality, whatever you want to call it until the end of January. So please avail of that. It is amazing. Um, and it really, it's something that you can just repeat over and over again. Many, uh, many of people that have bought it have literally just they repeat it two or three times a year and each time it's something different it takes you through you know meditation each week it takes you through a yoga a general a beautiful yin hormone balance yoga it takes you through journaling questions it takes you through your food um you know food rebalancing um you look at a chakra each week there's eight weeks the first week is creating space and then there's other things in there as well there's over and then I put a bonus thing in there. I put a um, Be Your Own Queen series. So Maiden Mother Crone Energy. So it's like a six hour workshop. So you're probably talking about 24, five hours of content in there. And it's all set up like a course. It keeps your space. Sorry, very professionally done. And I'm very proud of it. So um, yeah, that's available. Use the code Soul Self Mastery 33 for 33% off, which gives you 50, 50 points off. Okay. And that's just to the end of January. Okay. Um, yeah, balance, spirituality and practicality. That is literally what that course does. That is, you know, what I feel I'm here to do is to, we can sort of overcomplicate our spiritual practice, this type of stuff, people call it woo-woo, all sorts of stuff. You know, I love to keep it real. I love to help people understand it from a very normal girl next door kind of place um, because it doesn't need to be complicated. Life is complicated enough. We need simplicity, okay? So... You know, really, it's all about your four bodies. We have four bodies, your physical body, which we know what it is, your emotional body, your mental mind, mental body, and your spiritual body. We, you know, that is four, there's four. That is also, that is broken up into two areas. Your masculine energy is your physical body and your mental mind. And then your feminine energy is your emotional body and your spiritual body, okay? And that's what we look at. That's why there's four elements you know, in the hormone balance. And that is what you want to look at, whether you do the hormone balance or not, in a daily sacred practice, um, which I'll talk about a little bit later as we close. Okay. Lovely. What's the challenge in January for the collective? of a day. Secrets revealed, treasures uncovered, initiations. So the challenge in January is we're going through an initiation. I, I was shown <laughs> that we went through initiation in December and so it feels like this is a continuation because I think for many December was just so busy that we probably didn't have time to slow down to actually go through or feel the initiation. So that's why many of us are so tired. Um, and sorry, my nose is so itchy with this third eye stuff. Um, 
So many of us are going through this initiation. Initiation is like a wake up call. It says secrets revealed. So you're seeing the truth of some stuff. You might not have the actual proof, but you'll be shown it with your intuition. You'll feel it in your gut and in your body and you must listen to it. You don't need to have the proof. Ask your guys, angels, loved ones to show you signs and symbols around you. Um, and you know, be prepared. I'm being shown this is like two pillars. You know, that's the dark and the light. It's, uh, you know, the number 11. And I found that, that that portal on the 11th of January, it was a 111 portal, like was whoa, so powerful. I really wanted to come on to a meditation or something. And I just, it hit me so much, but in a really positive way. And it brought in two areas of my life for me to look at that hadn't had been avoiding. And when you think of, new, it was a new moon in Capricorn. It was a 111 portal, massive doorway of opportunity. So it was brilliant manifest and brilliant, you know, there was a massive movement come in, but I also had to close out. Something had to die for the new to come in. So it was, it was really tough because to move forward, I had to let go of something that I didn't want to let go of. I really had to face some decisions. Um, so you're probably finding the same, okay? Um, and you will have up until this full moon um, next Friday to really surrender, to let go. And then we build up to the new moon. And there must be, I don't know when the new moon is in February, but it must be around, um, it must be around that in bulk time um, as well. So to bring in the new, okay. Ask for some action cards, please. So we're going to go for action cards for January. What can we do to craft this practice? What do the collective need to know right now? How can we help them? Okay, so the first card is cherishing the self. It says it all really, doesn't it? This is not a this is not a time to deprive. Okay. What I'm hearing is if you want something in your life and you're waiting for somebody to give it to you, go get it yourself. I'm just being shown those flowers. If you would love your loved one or your partner to show up differently, to be whoever you need him or her to be, why don't you be that to yourself? Okay? So buy yourself the flowers, buy yourself the roses. Make yourself the food. Make yourself a cup of sit down, or that looks like cacao to me, it's gorgeous. Buy yourself the chocolate. Eat the freaking chocolate. What's the thing? Eat the cake. Okay. What's that queen from France? That was her quote. Eat the cake. And I believe, eat the cake if you want to eat the cake. You know, many people could be struggling. I'm getting a lot of messages at the minute about cravings and about food and you know, sugar cravings, which is natural. That's going to be natural after December, you know, after all the indulgence. So go easy with yourself, okay? It's going to take about, um, you know, 10 days to, um, you know, reset reset that um, that blood sugar, okay? So go nice and slowly with it. Start to reduce the sweet stuff. Start to swap milk chocolate for dark chocolate. Start to drink cacao. Like, that's really helped you know, I used to suffer terribly from cravings. So, like, uh, you know, it's one of the things I help a lot of people with in all areas of your life, okay? And the worst thing you can do is your body is craving more love. It's craving more of you. So don't deprive it, you know? Don't, um, if it wants chocolate, give it. You know, I remember when I was deeply working through my issues around cravings and addiction not that it was major it was you know i used to suffer from bulimia and what i had to do was actually just surrender and actually give myself what i wanted when i did that then i just then i go oh, i don't want it i started leaving it i started then going because i allow myself to have it i actually don't want it and everything changed but when i was making myself go on these diets on and off like it was like torture and punishment to the body i um it was just a roller coaster and it was a road to nowhere okay so it's the same with wine okay um i was thinking of going off 
fine for January. I shouldn't have said it out loud. Because then that inner inner child, more inner teenager is like, you're not telling me what to do. <laughs> so I just went, okay, I will not do that. So I just, instead of having a bottle, I had two glasses. Okay, or one glass, you know. Um, so, yeah, it's just that mindfulness. All right. The next card we have is launching your journey. Mm. This goes with many of us are, are moving. We're either moving physically, moving mentally. There's a massive timeline shift at the minute. And what that means is what we have been calling on and working on, I'm hearing for the last three years, 2020 up to 2023, is now going to really manifest this year. So it's really important that you don't self-sabotage because you can block it because it's like almost like we can feel like we're not there yet. What's happening? I give up. What's the point? Don't give up just yet. Okay. We are not meant to see what's in front of us. We are stepping into the unknown. Okay. So it says there, I am an intrepid traveler sailing forth into the universe. Okay. So yeah, I, I've had a look at this um, also because I'm, I've decided to physically move, um, not countries, just house. Um, and it certainly wasn't on my radar and um, then all of the signs were pointing to it. So I don't have all of the pieces put together yet, but my heart and my gut just knows it's the right thing to do. And it's important that we step forward and then um, put an action plan together and um, allow it all to unfold. Okay. Manifest in dreams. There we go. It's all starting to come together. My dreams are coming true. So, you know, there's the, you know, the cornucopia, the harvest. Um, just make sure that you're, I really would encourage you. I'm not a big fan of New Year's resolutions, but I do like intentions. So I really would encourage you to just start looking at intentions for 2024. OK, then start to break that down into monthly or bi-monthly intentions and then start to break that down again into action points and tasks that you can do um, on a daily basis that will then blend in with your daily sacred practice. OK, I'm hearing five points which I'm going to look at. No idea for a daily sacred practice. Let's see what's what's to come through. But before we do that, we have this last card which says breaking barriers. I'm expanding beyond limitations. Funny, I was shown this image. Um, I think when I was meditating last night or maybe it was in yoga class on Friday, I can't really remember. So I couldn't even remember what deck it was, what card it was, I just was shown it, which I often get shown. I'm expanding beyond limitations into joy and freedom. So like this is many of us, we've been clearing out the old and the new buds are coming, which is what happens in spring, which is what happens with in bulk. Um, the light is just coming in now, okay? We're coming out of the dark of the winter solstice into the light, okay? And mending bridges. These are these two aspects. There's your feminine self and your masculine self. I heal rifts. I'm a mender. So I encourage you, in order to move forward in life, we can't hold any hate, any anger for anybody, any resentment. So look at um, look at any areas of your life where you maybe need to forgive somebody. If you can't forgive, accept, because it's only going to affect you. Um, you know, this is the heart. The heart is the bridge. It's the bridge between the upper chakras and the lower chakras, okay? And it's very, very important, but many of us avoid it, okay? Um, in the hormone balance, when we're healing the heart, we're connecting with the thym thymus hormone gland. And we are, what we do to do that is a lot of mucus can collect. So we um, we cut out dairy just for a week, just for a bit of a, a reset. So I would encourage if anybody is having any chesty stuff or anything around this area to maybe give themselves a wee break from dairy. You know, chocolate, milk, yogurt, um, ice cream, um, cheese, things like that. And a lot of that can be connected to... The need for nurturing and the need for mother's milk so that's why cacao is a heart healer it's a heart opener heart expander it's really good for calming the nervous system down it is great to use to start a daily sacred practice um it's the natural form that chocolate takes 
about sugar and that's been added to it. Um, it contains magnesium and zinc and it's known as, you know, in ancient times it was known as the food of the gods. Um, it is a great, it's great for fertility, it's great for um, fertility also physically but also um, for ideas and creation energy as well. It's connected to the Mayan goddess Lachelle who is the goddess of waterfalls and water and flow and the full moon. Okay, with that lovely full moon coming up. And then the last thing here, um, believe in magic. Well, I've got two cards here that have been very relevant. Three cards. <laughs> so, <laughs> accepting what is. Okay, so we have believe in magic. This has got me through. Just believe in magic, believe in miracles. Just keep moving forward. You know, it won't come in if you don't trust yourself. If you don't trust this, you know, the intuition. Okay, looking through the keyhole, you'll get a glimpse of what you need to do and you must act upon it. Okay, um, trusting that intuition is key, which is why we're all getting this third eye activation to help us at the minute. We're letting go from all and all the old things. We're stepping into this new, this new journey, this new path. Okay, and it's important to set, accept what is at the minute. You can't change it. Um, so just surrender and let go of it. I accept and embrace my inner majesty. And look at that blue rose, which is what I was seeing at the beginning. Okay. So let's ask for... Oh, there's a card that has dropped. What is that? <laughs> Funny, I am working with my, my mentorship groups this week business membership and that's what I was showing this morning in one of the groups um, when we chinned in to see where we were and it was these beautiful wings coming out these ancient wings we all have wings wings are connected to our power and um, these gorgeous ancient wings and they were very big you know um, so what does it say you never needed those wings to fly yeah, you can just fly anyway. So if you think of this, right, we can feel a little bit like this princess in the tower. You know, and this is my, so I have the hormone balance chakra course and then the lead on from that is a 12 month mentorship, which is um, a priestess mastery course working with all of the gods and goddesses and the eight Sabbaths of the year. Um, it's a very powerful program and um, I'll be opening up applications for that um, for March. And it's literally almost like we have been brought up to be these priestess princesses, okay? Waiting, waiting in this tower for, for Prince Charming to come and save us or somebody else to come and save us and do it for us. And we will be waiting a very, very long time. So we are literally connecting with our priestess status, which is a princess in her power. And she is not waiting. She has worked out um, a way of getting out of this tower. She just didn't let anything stop her. She was like, okay, it feels impossible. So tune into my intuition, tune into my physical body, my logical mind. What, what do I do here? And she is free. Okay, and we can do that. Number eight, <laughs> number eight year. That is what this year is all about, is freedom. You know, stepping into your power, seeing your power. The number eight is connected to power, it's connected to abundance, it's connected to balance. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, so let's ask for some extra guidance as we close on what we can do or what listeners, watchers can do in January to craft a daily sacred practice, to um, connect with their feminine and masculine, their four bodies, their intuition, their emotional body, their physical body. I love these cards, they're so cute. Okay. Lighthouse, believe that you're enough. Don't doubt your worth. Literally all starts here with you valuing you. You will not be able to manifest anything if you do not love the skin that you're in right now. And that is connected to knowing who you are. And that's what the Hormone Balance course is all about, is you literally just knowing who you are. 
when you know who you are, you can help others know who you are. <laughs> that you know, um, and you know where you're going, what you're doing, what works for you, what doesn't. Okay, we have potion and practicing self love. So I would be adding in there a daily. That would be a daily sacred practice, no matter where that is. You know, um, she's got her her herbs. She's um doing a bit of yoga or oils what is that what does that mean for you and i love that she's just doing it in the bedroom you don't need a specific place you can do it anywhere you know it's sitting on the bed just as we go on to the next card which is escapist you're just sitting on the bed so um come home to yourself so if i look at these and then we have this last card at the bottom which is castle Feeling that not war. So, um, so what I would do, so let's look at this one. So what I'm hearing is, I feel for many of us, point one is we need to declutter. So I feel like you need to go around your home, your clothes, even your um, food cupboard and get rid of all of, you know, whether you eat it all. <laughs> Or like just get rid of it, I don't know. Just one of the things I'm planning to do with the kids is not buy as many snacks or just buy them maybe at the weekends, you know. Um, and make an effort in making them have more healthier snacks with fruit, things like that, okay. So this is just showing me somebody obviously doing their house, okay. And you be the lighthouse, okay, that's safe haven. Feeling safe inside your home, which means cleansing it. So sage in the home, essential oils, physically cleaning it. Okay. Going through all of the, like really, I'm seeing going to the, all of the areas. Really, even going into the garage. Okay. Under the bed, you know. Um, you know, one of the things I did the other day was just throwing out just a lot of stuff. We gather a lot of stuff. It's a lot of energy that we do not need. It's clogging up everything. We've got to um, make room for the new to come in. Okay. So that's the first thing. And then this is a daily sacred practice. Now this will look different for everybody. So you want to have some form of movement in it. Some form of mindfulness and meditation. Maybe some form of journaling. Okay. Um, so like even just... I would be doing a morning and an evening practice. So the best time is as soon as you open your eyes in the morning, you're not fully awake, that is the best time to meditate because you're not gonna go into a deep sleep, but you'll remember your meditation. Um, you'll be aware, but you'll be relaxed. So if you have any if you have any problems in your life or you're looking for any guidance, you can call in your higher soul self, you can call in your guides, your angels, your loved ones, your ancestors, you can ask them questions. Um, you can just ask to be shown what to do or shown what's next and you can do that via symbolism. So just um, connecting with the self. Now what you can also do is actually just get up quite early. It's a really, you know, to have that time if you like me have kids and stuff like that and um, get up, sit down and just make yourself get up, like drag yourself, you know, and make yourself a cup of cacao or whatever your cup is. I do like coffee in the morning and then I have cacao in the afternoon. So it's whatever works for you. There is no right or wrong. And um, I, I pull some cards. So, you know, um, even getting yourself a set of Oracle cards, like really simple ones. Rebecca Campbell's cards are lovely because they just have a simple question. So really just repeat that question, okay? Um, if you wanna go deeper into cards, then you know, set intentions, what is it you're asking, you know, intuitively read the cards, you know, as opposed to reading the book. That's what I would suggest. Um, and what I've been saying to a lot of people is, because some people, you know, have a daily sacred practice. If you do, then you want to go deeper into it, okay? You want to move from being a relaxation practice to an actual, you know, proper Let's get stuff sorted here. I'm really excited about word. <laughs> um, so you want to look at that day. What has triggered you? Who has annoyed you? What are they teaching you? What is happening in your life? One of the things I have in Hormone Balance is this beautiful. It's called a source and meditation. It takes you to the root of the trigger and the source, like a one-to-one -one healing. It's, it's so powerful. 
you know so there's a really good book called feeding your demons that has a process in there for that also where you literally just will see a trigger or somebody you have an issue with and you just literally just see it from this higher point of view you send love to them and it shows you what's in behind it what's the gift and the message for you because there always is okay and then the journal okay the journaling so you can journal there's there's different ways of journaling so you can like do rage on a page like if you're angry that's a really good thing if you're annoyed with somebody write them a letter don't give, don't give it to them just rip it up so that's the getting rid of all the stuff i wouldn't keep that in a journal you know it's angry energy it just needs destroyed and it's a really good time to do that with the full moon okay and burn it under the full moon um then what you want to do is sort of bring a channeled writing in like automatic writing where you're going to sit and just see what's what does my higher self want me to know what am i what you know just what does my inner child want me to know and allow just the pen to take hold or what you can do is the third thing you can do is um a question a reflective question and you keep repeating it over and over and just keep writing the answer writing the answer writing the answer what you're hearing it's really powerful so you can use the cards for a question that's why i have questions in the hormone balance and it's like a 62 page journal for that as well i think i do have it here yeah this here okay that one. it's got all of this in it um there's section two there's a question let's see base chakra i have felt unsupported or worried when i have felt unsupported or worried when i have been unsupported and worried when. just keep repeating it okay how can i support myself better and keep repeating it okay um what else sleep getting sleep is key so there's other things like sleep and epsom salt baths you know looking at diet eating more vegetables um meditation okay so you know um it's okay to do a guided meditation you know love a chakra balance meditation there's loads on my um youtube channel um or there's other ones from other people's channels just chakra balance meditation or re relax and sleep meditation if you already do that what i would encourage you to do is leave the guided and upgrade okay so what so i'm talking to maybe people haven't got a separate practice this is where you start anybody that has you're going to upgrade it you're going to go deeper into it okay um you're moving from it being a relaxation stabilizing nervous system practice to something deeper so that you can move forward in your life okay guided by yourself not anybody else outside of you um so yeah so meditation um there's something came through there and then i started talking about that yeah, so there's other self-care practices like Epsom salt baths, you know, we've got the food element we talked about, movement, exercise, do it and what's right for you. You know, it could be yoga, it could be a mixture of yoga, walking, maybe some weights and stuff, hip workouts, um, dance, you know, you know, movement just moves stagnant energy throughout the body. It's really, really important. Remember the four bodies, okay? Physical mental mental that's where we do the journaling type of stuff emotional okay again the journaling you're feeling your stuff you're working through your triggers and then the spiritual okay through the meditation and just bringing everything together okay um there was something else but i can't think what it is i'll maybe come back so this card here it's time for healing not war yeah i think many of us have been fighting battles you know um living in survival mode and and this comes back like to ancient times when we literally had to survive and protect our home or it would be taken from us we don't we don't have to live like that anymore so i think many of us are being asked to move from being in a fear place um to trusting to moving into that flow with that intuition you know um walking away from what's not serving you from just what doesn't feel good it's really really simple okay you choose and what i'm hearing is if you don't choose you're also choosing which is interesting okay so somebody is phoning me i think it's my children i think i need to go and pick them up so i'm gonna have to close this with two cards here this is a snow oh they're phoning again two seconds and let me just it's max let me just where is he yeah it's him two wee seconds let me just um 
doing a video for Raven Song. Okay. I was meant to pick them up, but it's okay, so early. So, but there's something about maybe that's the divine masculine energy coming in there. Okay, so let's collective, let's end with a card. Oh, that one was, that was the same card that I put back, see? Shining through. Look, that's you bursting out of your lotus flower to allow the light in, to allow you to shine bright. But you got to see you. Don't expect anybody else to see you until you see you. Okay, much love. I must go and pick my children up and um, yeah, I'll talk soon. Take care, bye. Oh, the last thing I wanted to say, I knew it was something else. Cord cutting is really important, okay? I feel like what I need to do is come back with another video and it's gonna be a cord cutting one just to help people understand that. So I'll come back, okay?